Okay, what's going on YouTube? This is a tutorial about how to flash a purely programmable logic, um, so a purely hardware project on the Zinc uh, SOC FPGA. So let's say that you have just some HDL that you want to flash onto the FPGA. My board is the RDZ7. Um, how do you do that and it's a little bit different than uh, flashing the just like a, a software project on the processor but uh, the flash is still tied to the processor so we have to do some things a little bit differently so I'm here in Rivado I have uh, this is my top module it's just the sign LED equals to switch so whenever one of the switches is turned on the LED will turn on and I have my constraints file here. So I'm going to go to my block diagram. I just clicked on create block design and this opened. I'm going to add the zinc processing system. And it's going to add and I'm going to hit this run block automation. Just click OK. Sorry, I'm a little sick. I sound a little stuffy. Then I'm going to connect this F clock to the MXE GPO A clock. Okay, and you can click validate design, and there are no errors. So this is just the most basic processing system you can have, and you have to have this in order to flash your um, even your purely programmable logic designs, you still have to have this processing system in the block diagram. So this next trick is you go to the sources, and you're going to go to your top module, which is the uh, Verilog, which you or VHDL or whatever you want to flash. You're going to right click and go down to add module to block design. This is a shortcut method, so what I would do is uh, click on it it's going to add your module and after we're all done with this if you sometimes this won't work and sometimes you have to actually package it as IP so what I would recommend is before exporting this to the SDK to flash I would just recommend going down after you've generated your bitstream open the hardware manager and program your FPGA just as you would uh, regularly and then if it works okay when you've done that, then it's probably okay to do this method. Um, but sometimes I've read on Silex forums that it doesn't work. It's worked every time with me for everything. Um, but then you're going to right click on LED. I'm going to click make external. And since this is my output, I'm going to name it the same that I have in my constraints file. So LED. And then I'm going to do the same with the switch, makes external, and rename that switch, which is the same I have in my constraints file and top module. Okay, so now what you're running going to do is make sure you're in the sources, and right click on design one, and click HDL wrapper. I just let Vado manage the wrapper, and create your HDL wrapper. So now that you have your design one wrapper, uh, design one is just what I called my just the block diagram for this processing system. You can generate your bitstream and then wait. Bitstream generation is successfully completed. At this point, you can do what uh, I said and just open up the hardware manager, program the FPGA from a computer, and uh, if everything is working okay as you want it to then it should flash fine so we're going to go up here to uh, file and go down to export export hardware and make sure you check this include bitstream export local to project click ok and then file again and we are going to launch the software development kit because that's where we're going to be flashing
So once the SDK loads up, it will automatically uh, import your hardware. So we can go ahead and make this full screen and just wait for it to import our project. There we go, importing hardware specifications. So once you have everything all up and running, I'm just gonna go up to this file, new application project. And what we need to flash is we're gonna need what's called a first stage bootloader or FSBL. So what we're gonna call the project, all of this is fine. Click next. And you need to go down here to Zinc FSBL, click Finish. All right, so once that is finished, you can go up to Xilinx, and we are going to need to create a boot image. Select the output BIF file. You can select it whichever you want. I'm going to go Xilinx Projects, switch this to LED because that's the project we're in. I'm going to save it right there. What you're going to want to add first, make sure this partition type says bootloader and you're going to browse. We're going to go here. If you're not already in project, you're going to go down to switches to led.sdk or whatever your project name is, .sdk. Click on that. There's going to be two. There's going to be FSBL and FSBL underscore BSP. Click on the FSBL. Go into debug and click this FSBL.elf file and add that. Click OK. Then we're going to also need to add the bitstream file, which is make sure it says data file. The bitstream that we generated from um, the from Avado. So we're going to go down to projects, switches to LED, switches to LED.sdk, and then design one wrapper hardware platform and design one wrapper .bit. That's our bitstream file. Open that, click OK, and then go down here to create image. OK, so that worked. And now we're going to go up here to this little button. This is Program Flash. All this is fine. Auto Detect is fine. Image file. We go back to our project where we saved it, and it's this boot.binary. We're going to open that up. And then we also need to add the FSBL elf file again. Browse, go to the .sdk in your project. Again, the one with the output BSP, which is, stands for uh, board support package. Debug, fsbl.elf, open that bad boy up. And if your board's connected, you're going to want to make sure that the jumper is in the JTAG position and click program. And then it's going to do a couple things. It's taking a little while, but it says flash operation successful down here in the console. So it should be OK once it, once the progress bar. Yep, there we go. So flash operation successful. OK, so here's my RD board. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. My jumper is set to the JTAG position because I just programmed it. I'm going to remove this little uh, power jumper. And I'm going to switch the boot jumper from JTAG to QSPI. I'm going to put the power jumper back on USB. And the little green light comes on saying it's done. And when I click the switch, the LED turns on. Boom, just like that. So that's how you flash a purely programmable logic um, project uh, on Zinc with the Xilinx SDK and Vivado. So thanks for watching.